yo, yo, welcome back to another episode of Hip Hop Originals, man. Hip Hop Originals! Yes, sir. Hey, 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 tonight, you know what I'm saying, we got a, you know, returning guest tonight. He was here, you know what I'm saying, episode two, you know what I'm saying, we're back now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody give it up for Rob Best. Rob man. Best! <laughs> you already know him, People man. champ! Hey, y'all want to get line. to know him? Watch the last episode, but we can basically gonna pick up, you know what I'm saying, like where I came from though. But how you how you been, man? I've been good. I've been good. I've been good. I'm out here, you know, about to do some other things. We'll talk about that later, but I've been good. I'm blessed. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You made me back, man. Yeah, yeah. Up, yeah man? I, you know, I jumped on the flight. Y'all said come do it while I'm in the area. <laughs> like, yeah, so come I'm be, still, let's You know what I'm saying? Like you said. Yeah. yeah, you definitely are, you know, our first returning guest, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, definitely appreciate you, man. Yeah. All oh, right. Oh, man, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Man, before we get into this show, yeah, though, man, man, we definitely got to send out some RIP. Oh, yeah, oh, definitely yeah. got to do yeah. that. Yeah. You know, hot supply. You know, we got to send out some RIP. Hot supply, man. No, no, man. Hot no, I didn't send no shout outs. I said <laughs> RIPs. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, man. We're going to send out R.I.P. Go See, ahead. That's what happened when y'all get the... <laughs> 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 get the energy. Hey, so yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the recent times, you know what I'm saying, we lost, like, a bunch of hip-hop legends, man. Like, like back-to-back, -back, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. it, it's been crazy. Uh, we, we definitely want to say rest in peace to Shop and Do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shop uh, do. The legendary lockers, you know yeah, what I'm saying? We played a break if, if y'all, you know, familiar. RP to him, RP to uh, Ecstasy of Houdini, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Oh, yeah, 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 Another legend, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another legend. The Ecstasy, yeah. man. Like, I'm a hoe, you know I'm a hoe. <laughs> I rock three <laughs> different joints <laughs> after every show, cause I'm a hoe. Man. I, can I say that? And there's that? other, there's many other. Can I say it on that show, man? Yeah. But one other one that we, we lost recently, man, and we just had a privilege, you know, you know, with uh, Mies and uh, Shutter and myself, um, I had a chance to um, interview the legendary mm -hmm. Mr. Prince Marky D. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. Yeah. That was a great Prince interview. Oh. I mean, yeah. he had our back. Um, Rock the Bells Radio was on us. Yeah. I mean, he was definitely bringing right. awareness to the brand, so... Shout out to him, Long Live the King. Long Live the Long King. Live the it's Prince, man, I should say. Long man, Live the like, Prince, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, like, the you, Prince, you're getting like a bunch know, of devastating king, news, man. He's the like, king, but he's definitely. We done lost him. And, and even too, you know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all familiar with CB4, y'all remember Statmaster Arson. Yes, who played Statmaster Arson, he recently passed as well, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man. Like, you know. Uh, many others, it's so many this year, man. That, you know, Dr. Uh, Reverend Price. Like a Reverend Price, you know, yeah. passed away, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what's it, crazy, it's, though? It's, man, it's, They be dying crazy, at a man. young age, bro. They yeah. young, bro. Like, you know, COVID took a lot of people you know out, man. You know, a lot of people, I mean, we started this thing, you know, with the, when that shit uh, happened. what's so when funny. It hit. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, man, this guy, we went through a lot, you know what I'm saying? We gave you guys 25 weeks of you know, comedians, you know what I'm saying, out there on our platform. Man, while, while that shit was happening. While it was happening, and, you know, we stayed COVID-free. Uh, yeah. I guess stayed COVID-free. Everyone checked out well, but... Actually, I, I feel it. like we were one of the first ones that started, like, since, since that shit happened, we were like, hey, man, we got to interview him, like, uh, via camera. So we're, we're actually one of the first ones to start, like, interviewing comedians, um, up via Zoom and shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, that shit was big, man. Yeah. Real that was, big. That man. was a year ago. But yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but man, yeah, shout like, out to shout all, out everyone. Yeah, hey, yeah. RP Prince Marky R. D, though, man. Prince Marky D. Y'all caught him. Y'all got was him like, flowers, we, though. We wasn't then. expecting that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But we, we definitely going to, like, you know, Prince Marky D. His legacy live on, you know what I'm saying? The Fat Boys legacy live on. RP, uh, Human Beatbox. Yeah. Shout out to Cool Rock Ski. We definitely gonna reach out to him and have him on the definitely, show soon. Definitely, definitely. We're gonna talk to him and shit too, man. But man, definitely. Yeah. Everybody, you know, y'all, y'all take care of yourselves, man, and we will too, man. But yeah, yeah. Hey, Rob, man. Smoke weed. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say something real we quick. Good for you. Health is wealth. Mm. You know, can't nobody do it for you. You gotta do it for yourself. That's man. right. Tell them who you are, man. Uh, I'm uh, Boss Mees, a.k.a. the Comfortable Vegan Terry. Y'all get ready for that show coming out, the healthiest show in the world. Uh, yeah, it's all about staying healthy, man, and just being healthy, living a healthy lifestyle, and all 
all type of ways, you know, so yeah. y'all get ready for that. Yeah, and, uh, man. Shout out to La Banana, too. La Banana yeah, yeah, La in the building. Right <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, well, since you give giving shout outs, man, let me shout out. Uh, I'm rocking the day, you know, no other than uh, <coughs> Mr. High Hamptons, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to High Hampton, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing. What's up, Zane? Who you rocking the day, bro? Mr. Said, tell OG I'm pulling up. The best. Uh -huh. Mr. Yup. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Well, I'll tell. The Marriott in Oakland. Okay. Not downtown Oakland, Marriott. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, the Marriott. <laughs> the Marriott. Y'all so, know about the Marriott. The but go ahead. So, right. um, we upstairs. Who ride? <laughs> right? We go up the elevator. We go, Come on upstairs. We got four suites, whatever. We walk in. That's when Russ Regan, that's how we signed. Russ Regan and him was sitting in the room. Uh-huh. And Dane, we loaded. Dane goes, man, what the fuck you doing in the room? I'm oh, excuse my language. What you doing in the room? No, no, cuz. It's cool. It's oh, what the fuck you doing in the room? <laughs> you know what I mean? And they said, well, we want to sign. We'll, 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 we'll talk to you tomorrow. So dude was like, well, Regan was like, let's you know have breakfast in the morning. Uh-huh. Um, we didn't make we didn't make that because we was partying all night and then we ended up. Um, Flying to LA that next couple of days, and then we signed with uh, Warlock. Mm. And then Can You Feel Me came out. See, back then it's a different now. We can get into talking about that, you know. Right. It's different. Um, we signed, they gave us some money to do the record. We did the record, and it came out four months later. What? And then, even with the four months later, it's still starting. So if you if your stuff is on the sh- if your stuff is sitting on the shelves, it's gonna come down. Mm. So that was the start of it. Can now. you feel me on that <laughs> shit? You now, I got Can you story. feel me? I'm gonna take the ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Okay, a homegirl like did that. A homegirl of ours was like, y'all about to um. I don't know what the fuck, me and Dame was feeling ourselves because yeah. the song was doing so, uh, Can You Feel Me was mm. really beating San Francisco, it was beating it up. Yeah. Because everybody else was on something else, right? This was at RBA, all in, they had just got, everybody, they were signing everybody, Forte was getting signed. But Hoopla was a different type of group, Shudder, you know what I mean? We had a band and shit, so they didn't really see us. So I don't, I think that had something to do with us getting loaded that night. <laughs> you dig? And we... <laughs> Those niggas got loaded. Nigga, we got loaded. Nigga, I woke hey, up. Hell, I record. I'm about to get some uh, weed oil. I woke up with. <laughs> nah, I ain't can't talk like that. But it was. Uh, it was I can't talk like that. I will put it like this. I Nothing. woke up in a row. Nothing, man. He said, I woke up in a row. Hey, can you feel me? Can you feel me? I woke up in a row. He said, I don't know how I went to sleep, but I woke up in a row. I woke up in a row. And I had, and I, and I enjoyed the company that I was right next to me. Ooh. Yeah, it was nice. Can you? you hear that? That's real play shit. I woke up in a row, and I enjoyed the company that was right next to me. That's all you got to say, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool. And it was back in the day. One period blank. Like, the, the difference between that and now, like I tell all y'all now, is like, man, it ain't, y'all just gotta really just do, if y'all do the work, yeah. y'all can get the money. Yeah. Y'all niggas is just lazy. Yeah, man, definitely screw these artists, you know what I'm saying, like on their distribution, because like a lot of artists don't even know, like, because you, you was telling me some shit earlier, you know what I'm saying, a lot of artists don't even know about hey, that man. type of shit. Yeah, like yeah. Like the administrative rights and shit. Yeah, yeah. They don't know yeah, about that type of shit. Yeah, you know? yeah. That, that, you know, that's something we'd have to talk about, you know, because I don't want to. I don't give up too much game, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I don't want to expose. <laughs> give some insight. So long. But what I can say, but what I can say, this is what I can say. Yeah. Um, You can always call Timeline 360, and I and I think you can get a consultant fee on that for the people that's out there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'll give you that yeah. business, right? But what I'm gonna give you now is, is, is I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna give y'all a treat. Where else can you get that? Where else can you get that? If you do the work, right? And present it the right, and do it the right way, and your business is tight, and know what the business is, right? You can win. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. If you don't know the biz, what 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 to attack. Mm-hmm. Then you just like everybody else. <laughs> so that's the advantage that I'm saying. I know what to attack, and it, and, and, and it's something that you pr- and you ha- and you probably in the game was taught to me recently, yeah. and you and you probably wouldn't imagine you know what what that process is. And if you don't do these first one, two, three, yeah. you can't get to four, five, six. Yeah. Right. Right. Right? Right. The money don't come to four, five, six. Mm. So who who's hard enough to go through one, two, three, four, five? 
I don't think. I think once one, do once you think get a little bit of fame, mm. get 200 likes, they cool with that and move forward. So I got a question for you. I want the money. I got a question for you, Rock. Yes. I got a question for you. So yes. you being an artist that came from that era, yes. and then now we're here in 2021, uh-huh. the deals versus then versus now, <laughs> what do you feel artists is getting now? Do you think they're getting a, fit, a better deal? As a uh, as a deal, you know, Hell the record no. deal. Every, every, the <laughs> you think they get more whole, beat up now? The, the whole system for a change. deal is to set up for you to be a cash cow and make money. That's what a deal is. Yeah. So it, 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 it's it, never in the artist's favor. Hell no. no, not if you haven't done. Not if you haven't done anything. Right, right. So that's just like me saying. That's just like me saying, "Hey, Mike, I can make this cup." But I need you to give me two hundred dollars so I can go make it. Right. But then Elijah comes and says, "I already made the cup. Right. I need two hundred dollars to sell it. Right. <laughs> Who gonna get the deal? Right. So you gotta know what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, get back. It's right. I, I'm not. Gonna give it to you. you gotta know what you're looking hey, for. That's right. Hey, put your dollars underneath your shirt. Hey, Mies, what's up, man? What's your, what's your input on this, man? I mean, not show it. But do you understand? Did that answer your question? No, I got you. I mean, what's your input no, it's on, you know, show. the artist? It's not, you know, you know, record deals. No, no, no the wire. Versus oh, today. The wire. Yeah. You know, the 90s, what they were receiving back then. <coughs> do you think, I don't think, I mean, before you answer that, I, my, Let my me say something before you say something. Let know, me say one more thing before you answer that question. Don't think that the artists in the 90s, because I'm a part of that creation. Right. We won. Because we didn't. We got big advances. What should we mean by that? I'm about to explain. What, 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 we got huge what advances. So an advance is you they'll give you a quarter million dollars. Right. I, I've seen I've had a check for one, you know, not you know, for five you don't about, give me the line. Talking, for one hundred and twenty five thousand <laughs> to do a, do a, do, a, do two songs, you're right? About industry wise. Yes. Industry. Right? But watch this. This is what they don't tell you. Mm-hmm. Right. Until you get any residuals, you gotta pay that money back. Which, what, right. what, what's the Hell yeah. So a residual is, I'm gonna give you $125,000 to do a record, right? right? And you thinking, oh cool. But what you don't understand is, until I make my $125,000 back, you're not gonna see a dime from me. And this is how they get you in the catch back in the 90s. It took so long to get a record to go. By the time the record come out, you broke. Mm-hmm. Yep. So you back in the slavery doing whatever they want you to do. And if you don't come now out with another this. hit, and then they it gets drop deeper. Your ass. Then y'all didn't, we didn't even know about publishing rights then. Mm-hmm. So we done signed all the music over. <laughs> Just in this contract to get $150,000 that we got to pay back. And even when we start getting money for it, they own the product. So they're going to give you two cents while they take $2 because they own the product. And if you come back and say something, they're going to say, well, man, you signed this. So it's it's a difference. They got robbed. And if, and if you didn't go through it, they kill you. Excuse me. Or put something on you. So that was going on then. What's going on now is they figured out, Cole Lion and all them punk motherfuckers figured out a way, well, we see everybody going independent. Now we can't hold nobody back. Right. So we need to attack YouTube and the distributors. Huh. And then make it where... In order for them to make the real money, they got to come this direction. And it's fucking working. So now everybody's saturating music and ain't making no money. Oh, no. And wondering, well, where's the money? Where's the fucking money? The fuck is it goes the money back to the example at? I told you earlier. Rob know the money. Every is. deal is different. And right. it depends on who you're talking to and what you know you're talking about. And you can always say, no, nah, I don't want to do that. Yeah. And you'll be surprised how much respect you'll get from that other entity by saying, you know what, that doesn't work for me. Right. Because that motherfucker going to say back to you, well, why doesn't that work for you? If you get that, then you're in the building because now you're in a conversation with somebody where y'all can end up making some money together. But if you're in a conversation where, where he says, 
or whoever that other entity says, well, okay, well, fuck you then. Yeah. Then you got to say, okay, well, fuck you then. And keep <laughs> it moving. Fuck that. That's business. Yeah. yeah. Because at some point, you're going to meet back up and I say, okay, you fucking me now? We doing business. No, I still fuck you. Okay, well, still fuck you then. <laughs> and then it's going to keep moving. You're going to keep moving, keep moving. And you're going to look back, you're going to see him again. Because yeah. both you niggas is moving. Then it comes to a point where you just say, well, fuck it. Let's just do a deal. <laughs> then the deal was fair. <laughs> okay, I, y'all done got me. Y'all wanted me excited, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the deal was fair. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But you got to do that work, man. If you don't do the work, then it's useless. That's why I was telling Elijah, if you got all the shit, and you got a little bit of money. You gotta show him the shit. You gotta show him the shit. You gotta show him the shit. You gotta show him the shit, huh? You gotta show him the shit. You gotta show him the shit. Show him the shit. What's shit. up, Beans? What's up, there, baby? You taking it all in? Oh uh, yeah, most definitely, man. Beans is an artist. He's also you gotta show him the shit. The vegetarian, and he's dropping very, very soon. Yeah. So hey, don't don't sleep yeah. on this dude. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to drop ten projects this year, man. Ten, I'm baby. I already dropped two. That's smart. Last month, and I'm dropping two more next month. You doing the work? So y'all yeah. get ready, man. Y'all get ready and stay ready, man. Yes, sir. Keeping it coming, and y'all also get ready for the show, like I told y'all earlier, man. So man, it's it's two worlds, man. Yes, <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I, man, I got a shout out to drunk guys. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Two hey man, shout out to the drunk guys right here. Hey, no shout guns, out to the two man. drunk guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, showing that shirt. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? We, we got the merch on sale, we got the mask right now. We got the two drunk guy hoodies. You know what I'm saying? Two drunk guy hoodies. Y'all see it. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? We got the two drunk guy masks. So if you guys want to buy them, you can definitely inquire. Cam Media Studios. <laughs> We yeah. gotta already know what it is. Yes, sir. Our yes, hip hop originals podcast.com, baby. Cam Official. Media you already know. Hip hop yeah. originals podcast.com is official. That's that's Go get the app, man. <laughs> Log in. It's all oh, good. Yeah. Yes, sir. Moving up. Moving up <clears throat> like George and Wheezy, baby. Yeah. <laughs> So what's good, Mies? Uh, what's up, man? What's your take in on uh, my take the is, industry, man? man? I feel like, like he said, they try to make it look super easy now Dang. to get into the game and stuff. You yeah. know, yeah, That's y'all feel? It, you know, it's pretty easy. You know, you can upload Damn, your stuff on whatever you want. But well, it's about happen. making that money, you know. Yeah. And yeah. everything got a niche and a glitch yeah. and an algorithm these yeah. days. The money right. ain't in the money. Ain't, what the money ain't in the streaming, y'all. So but you stream. gotta have the streaming to get the money. Right. Uh. I'm gonna say that one more time. <clears throat> say it again, bro. The money is not in the streaming. But you gotta have the streaming to get the, the money. money. <laughs> hey, Rob. Tell them where the money's at, Rob. No, 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 Take your leads, take your leads. Don't go let you check me like that. Hey, that's a consultant fee. You got to call Timeline 360, and, you know, you got to pay for that type of information. I'm like, I'm like the distributor. I'm like Leo Cohen in there. I, I, I can get that out. You got to shit the shit. You got to read through the line. You got to show the shit. You got to read through the line. You got to show the shit. Don't show where the money at. No, I don't mind. No, no, no. You know, I, I just showed you. I just told you, how, you know, but see, but... but the question is, okay, what the fuck is he talking about, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you another hint. I'm going to give you another hint. All right. Big boss shit. Come on, bro. Fuck that shit. If you open a grocery store, right? Ooh. Right? Right. You got to have the food. You got to have the money to put the food in there to sell it, right? Yeah. Right. That's the hint. Yeah. It's so a 50-50. If you don't get it. You, don't, you ain't get you ain't gonna get it. Wow. <laughs> Once you see the revenue, yeah. your whole mind your whole yeah. mind your whole mind will think different. And then you'll start making different decisions. And yeah. then you'll start being around different people. And then you'll start bringing your other people up with you, the ones that are understanding what you're doing. So you have a label. I have a lot of things. Oh, you have no, you have a, <laughs> I have a lot of things. I do. What's the name of your label? <laughs> Timeline Three Sixty. Okay, Time so as an independent artist, yes. Why should I sign with you versus sign with Boss Me's Records 
our 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 star nation. You shouldn't. No, no, no. no. I'm asking you why why would an artist want to well, sign? Why with you? he shouldn't? Let well, the only point. reason well, no, why wanna, should I? The only with reason that. why artists would want to sign with Timeline 360 is an artist that has no way of doing anything. And I will teach you how to do it and be fair with so you. So you last if resort? You, if you already, or, 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 <laughs> you understand something. Well, are you last resort is what you're trying to say? No, 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 no. But I don't want to be first resort either. <laughs> because I got too much other shit going on. No, I understand that. So you're my right. roster, my roster, no, no, I'm, doing, I'm answering your question. So, 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 so if you come to time, well, what makes, what makes this, what, I'm not looking for artists right now. To be the first of all, no, I mean, I, I, so if I was, if I was, was I would have a, a certain budget. My my, my crew's already together. The question was, yeah, um, let me listen. No, 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 fuck all that. I'm listening. The question was this: as an artist, a yes. new artist, why would I sign with you and not these other labels? It depends on what if I what works like, for why you. Why would I sign with you? Like what what would make your label? Stand out more than these other labels because you would be on a timeline. But and now I'm a new artist, but I'm a hot artist. I'm about to tell you. <laughs> I <will> and you <laughs> would <coughs> niggas is let them know, at man. my let feet let right know, now, man. artist. Let them know. Then I wouldn't want to sign. Why would I sign with you? Let I wouldn't want to sign. Man. <laughs> I would not get into a battling war over no artist. Right. Period. Exactly. So I'm not he, doing that. So he says he's not. I'm not. And, like, and, I'm, using, and, I, like, and I'm gonna use Drake as as an example because my good friend Jay Prince is the one that really hooked him up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Shout out Jay Shout Prince. Yeah, that's right. I forgot you work for Jay, so you know yeah, what I'm talking about. Rock Jay, rock was my, that's not. That's my. Now that's my dog. That's a good. That's my partner, right? Oh, yeah. He the one that him and his son Lil J is the one that really found Drake. Yeah. Don't get it fucked up. Oh, yeah, Jazz, Jazz, yeah. Prince, yeah. Jazz found him. You know that's his younger son. Name is Jay. He found him. Mm -hmm. You know, he convinced Pop, but I've been going fuck with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they and, that, and then that's how the little Weezy and all that shit got together. So to answer your question, I would come I'm a I'm from Oakland. I'm from the Bay Area. I would flip that script because I'd be like, okay, I don't even want the headache, first right. of all. Second of all, I'm probably gonna know him and him because if me, him and him is in a battle to get you, me and him us three partners. Because we the big wigs, because we trying to get your punk ass. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably call in before I even talk to your mark ass and be like, which one of you niggas gonna sign? Right. Give me some of the budget money and I'll give you some kickback and let him think whatever the fuck he wanna think. Man. Or or them two niggas might say to me, well, won't you sign him? So you 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 thinking that you in the game, but you not yet. Because you around here got a battle, got some niggas battling. But these niggas is partners, because they got the money. <laughs> but you thinking you putting people against each other. I learned that you real young fucking with them Jewish motherfuckers. <laughs> they talk. Yeah. And you think you balling on them. No, they laughing at you. Like, oh, he don't even know that we talking. Uh -huh. yeah. And then don't say the wrong thing, Mike. <laughs> don't say we get back in the meeting and you say something wrong to me and I'm having a bad day. My wife slapped the shit out of me or something. Uh, yeah. And you say, well, I don't want to fuck with you. And you say the wrong thing, like suck my you know, dick. Yeah. Fuck you, you Mark motherfucker. <laughs> and I had a bad day. I'll be like, oh, okay. Hey, check this out, Elijah. Don't sign him. Yeah. Don't sign him or I'm not sending no more money your way. Cool? Cool? Cool. Mazel tov. Uh, now your uh, ass is out. <laughs> you don't even know because I ain't even say nothing back to you and ain't gonna say nothing to you. Now you calling all offices. You br you banned it now. Don't nobody wanna fuck with you because you said something to Rob Beasy. Stupid. Man, Nigga, that's how they do it. <laughs> that's how they do it. So I wouldn't even so sign. Learn. Nigga, hey. I play you. Now, that's the answer. So you hear it, you new artists. You fuck around, you do the wrong Be shit. Be careful. You will fucking get played, man. Look the right there in that camera. The circle is real little. Rob, look right there in that camera. You tell them, man. The circle is little. Everybody know everybody. And a lot of y'all don't know nobody. <laughs> hey, have you, have you heard of the I, name? I should say that. Have you heard of the name Stan Shepard? I've heard of the name, but I don't I don't know. Hey, he said man is DJ Quick back in the day. Uh he was originally from Chicago. He just did a uh I heard I, I know who he is. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. He did an interview with the Gangster Chronicles, so he was basically saying at the end of the interview, like watch who you like screw in this industry, you know what I'm saying? Cause you never know who might owe somebody favors to somebody or you know what I'm saying? Like never know what's going on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like so, me and you 
I'm gonna give you an example. Ten minutes. Me and you, no, me and you might decide to go in business together, Elijah. Right, right. But you got beef with him. Right, right. He ain't gonna do business with me if me and you, if me and you are in the thousand. If we, if our, if, if our revenue was high, I'm not saying we make a couple hundred dollars. I'm talking about high revenue. Right. We making paper, right? He, that nigga's not gonna do business with me because of you. Yeah. So I'm gonna be like, y'all need to fix that because I want to fuck with him. Right. What if you don't do that? How do you how do you solve that problem? Y'all think I'm about to show you? How do you solve that problem? You ready? Yes, sir. You ready? You do how you it that? yourself. I don't. Once you do it yourself. Those two gonna have to make up, and if they don't, they yeah. gonna come this way anyway. That's why whoever got the bag. Think about how how the Italians got over back in the day, and how the, how the Asians and, and the, the Jewish people got over back in the day with the, with the, with the, with the dough. They just hired one guy to do the bag, but the brother wouldn't tell. I wouldn't tell you where yeah. I'm getting this bag from, but that's cut my money off. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's the same thing. But I'll give y'all the information off camera. Man, fuck that. You got to give us the shit on camera. Nah, this because sometimes, 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 that, shit, real sometimes shit, that shit be misconstrued. What do you think about this 600 shit, bro? I think he's playing the game. Like, I think he been a federal I know, agent. I know his name wants to speak one. on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit, six, nine, nine, bro. Nigga ain't no gangster. That nigga been a federal agent from day one. Think about it. Think about it. Where the Okay, this dude comes out of nowhere. Think about this shit. Who he thought that nigga had? He comes out of nowhere, Monty. right? He bit. They, that's what the feds do. Man. Now the he's plan. in the shit. Yeah. Yeah. He's these deep and now the society is so fucked up and different now. <laughs> the shit is like okay, like they, they don't even care. Man. But he been working for them. He, he's a plant. He's a lot. He been plant. That's just my personal opinion. He's an industry plant. Plant that nigga. This nigga had purple hair. And the niggas is stupid for letting him in. So should we shot him out? Fuck this yeah. man. I mean, <laughs> he's smart. Nah, he's definitely a smart. He's smart. Artist. I mean, I, ain't, I didn't call him stupid. I mean, that's not a game I would play. But I ain't gonna call him stupid. He's smart. He revolted back to who he is. He ain't never been a gangster. So if you think about it, he ain't really done nothing wrong in, in the way he thinks. Right, he just got caught up in some wrong shit. No, that was the plan in the first place. And then he yeah. reverted back to who he really is. Right. He knew what he was getting into because he's been a federal agent. <laughs> <laughs> he went in as a federal agent. He didn't go in and fuck with these niggas and then he yeah. became an agent and a rat. He went in like that. He was already like he, that. He went yeah. to school and shit. He's been an agent. He That's what, what I think. think. So you mean he been an agent? He's been an agent. They sent him in. Yeah, so so he, he wasn't up in there starving. He was eating lobster. They sent him in. I don't know what, I don't know how they did it, but they sent him in. He came out of it's nowhere. I've been yeah. a nigga, this nigga yeah. came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. So yeah. when I yeah. when I switched yeah. over, when I well I started off doing R and B when I was switched, hey, I'm not the best singer, right? Nigga, it's niggas out here that will out sing me to death, right? Yeah. Right? Right. But they can't out hustle me, and I got stage presence. Yeah. Right. So I know I know my strengths, right? Hey, okay. So if someone out, if someone calls me out, <coughs> even if I lose that battle, hot damn me, I'm gonna do it. Right. So I'm gonna go towards my strengths and murder you. So if you coming in singing woo and the crowd after you done like who I love him, <laughs> you know like oh he was great. How you gonna top that? Right? Then I'm gonna come out with a small machine, a full band, right. backup singers and everything, <laughs> like MC Hammer, nigga, and you make you, you know, <laughs> nigga, and you gonna be like, well, damn, he couldn't sing as good as him, but he sure did give a good show. So what I'm saying to you is, if that nigga talking shit, whoop his ass. You know what I mean? But I think if anybody call you out, on some, I'm, I'm from I'm the old school hip hop. I'd be, nigga, if I was you, I would be appalled. I would be like, I wouldn't even be talking about this, what he, what he can't, can't do. I'd be like, what? what? <laughs> nigga, meet me at the park, nigga. And then I'll just let him have it. <laughs> what would a bell on Kaboom! Like? Guess who's back is black man on the tattoo soon as he get out of his car, just fuck him up. <laughs> Look, and if you swoop about it, we swoop dance on him, whatever you gonna do. 
Look, you saw it. Nigga, whatever. <laughs> but don't, whatever you do, don't be like, oh man, he ain't good enough. Nah, you ain't gonna get no respect like that. Mm -mm. You think? You think? You think? Nah, no. I know. That's like turning down the fake. Yeah, I know. You ain't gonna get no respect. You like, like that. no, I don't. I ain't gonna fight him. Nah, I, no, I, I ain't gonna fight him. Yeah, right, like, even if you is. fight somebody and get your ass whooped, you gonna get right. respect. You got somebody else shit. Cause he ain't gonna wanna fight yeah, you no more. Exactly. So he wanna go the rap, the rap battle way. I'll go. I'll battle it. Let's do it. I'll battle it. I just wanna let every the audience know it's gonna be a short fire battle yeah. between Izane and... I'm gonna gamble all this Who you got? And I'm gonna <laughs> tell you. you. If you, Don King, let me talk to Don King for a minute. So Don, if you the promoter of this, right? Only in America. Hey, only and this in America. is a hip hop originals event, okay, right? So you have to make the rules up. So what you yeah. do is, you make the rules up, nigga. Whatever the rules are, I could be some crazy shit. Three punch knockdown. Nah, nigga, you can cut a nigga. You like in my off. rules, I'll be like, off, okay, bro. you can use yeah. a knife yeah. if another nigga can use a gun. Yeah. Man, you ain't scared of him, right? I appreciate that. Say that, that. No, you ain't say that in a rhyme, nigga. No, no. I got <laughs> it. You got to go to the point. Hey, 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 save the fighting. Hey, you know what they say? Save the fight for the ring. Hey, nigga, hey, for real, Say the you know, fight right. for the ring. You go from the OG up in there. Oh, bitch. yeah, definitely in the ring, though. You know what I'm saying? We're definitely going to have a crowd there. Bro, you put them slaps take your own challenge, bro. Are you interested right to put now. some money up? Because Bone them will be with Easy. Yeah. So at the Gavin, everybody, you know, used to do their thing. So Dame used to go at it with what's the name all the time, niggas. Because they, you know how cool. Let me show partners. You know how cool they are. Yeah. They, back then, they were the same men. Well, Cleveland yeah, yeah. niggas. We called them the Cleveland niggas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, yes. That's hella bro. They tell you, they, they're our friends now. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, we knew them way back then. That's, that's when Easy first that's family, got with. Right? Both up family. You already know. Yeah, that's when he first got with niggas was clean. Man, what's your favorite cookie, nigga? Fuck off, nigga. What <laughs> Chocolate and walnut cookie. <laughs> How about you, Bees? What's your favorite cookie, Mr. Vegetarian? I don't got no favorite one right now, but I'm gonna have one in a minute. That's what's up. Hey, but you got to check out this nigga's apple, apple nachos, though. <laughs> yeah, apple nachos. Apple right? nachos, baby. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, no, we're having this moment. We're going to set this shit up, though. It's all hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Man, leave that shit alone. This nigga over here thinking, this nigga talking about me. He might, I'm, I'm reading his mind. Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, this shit. Like, I, I, that feel feeling? Some, I feel some tension over here. That feeling is hip-hop. Yeah. This fool gonna fun. say, oh, that's why you say that. You signed him to your label. I said, what? <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> did my executive get called? Did I um, I'm shooting a video for my new single here in San Diego tomorrow and Saturday. And then Sunday is the interview. And we're With the two forward. drunk guys. We're gonna build a two drunk guys, guys episode. So y'all make sure y'all check that out next week, man, because yeah, that shit be gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, um, me and the director here is gonna go ahead and get to work. I don't know if he wants y'all to know about his debut. Shutter, you know uh, what I'm saying? Shutter, I, if y'all don't know, okay, let me tell a story. Shutter do a we lot of directing. Can I tell a story before we go? Shout out Ray T. Shout you know out Ray, Ray T. Ray T. Sipping yeah, on a cold one. Sipping on a cold one. Two drunk guys. Yeah. Drinking whiskey and wine. Yeah, that's enough. Beer whiskey. With a couple of friends of mine. You know, so, uh, some buddies. That's of mine. that's the ticket. So those little things I was telling y'all earlier. Those are the steps that you take. Yeah. And until we do that, they're gonna stay in control, which is fine. There's some, you know, you don't, there's some things you might not want to control. But you don't want, you don't, you'll live a lot happier life if, if you take more, more time and advantage of what's around you. Like I was telling Elijah, it don't make no sense for the equipment that we have and the knowledge that we have to go pay somebody else when it all did some time and then and two is done right, we just figure it out. Right? There you go. You know what I mean? And that's just time and you, and you feel better about that time you spending than fucking with somebody else. Uh -huh. And then shit really don't happen how you <coughs> want it to happen. You don't spend all that time. So Rob, <laughs> tell people I hey, Rob. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Rob, Rob, do me a favor. You know what I'm saying? Do me a favor and yes, tell sir. people how to get a hold of you, bro. Oh. Talk right there in the camera, bro, right there. You can always get a hold of, get a hold of me. Um, uh, I would give you my phone number, but I can't. <laughs> Don't but, do uh, that. I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> Timeline 360. Rob Best uh, Music. Um, Timeline360.com. Um, 
you can just Google. Rob Bass. Oh, yeah. Oh, he everywhere. My <laughs> email, my email, I'll give you my email. It's robbess123 at gmail.com. So if you really want to do some, you know, have some conversations or something, or talk about something, um, we can, you can <clears throat> use that email and then I can transfer you over to um, our team because we do have a staff. So. Hey, I don't know you personally? Yeah, you know, yeah. Got to wait for a minute. So he's a consultant. So don't think he got. To, he's yeah, a consultant. You gotta, so yeah, you if wait. you guys don't understand what a consultant means, that means he <laughs> is in the industry and he is a consultant. Yeah. So that means he knows. I've done it before. He, yeah. he didn't done it before. A little yeah. bit of this, a little bit of that. And, yeah. and, and let me make this clear: a consultant is not telling you what to do. No, no right. He's consulting. He's consulting your situations of what you are right. doing and what he thinks might be the best thing for you to think about. For your right. But you got to make the decision. <laughs> right. I'm just giving you all your options that maybe you didn't think about. So go. if you come to me and say, I want to make some rice mm -hmm. and I got all the ingredients, but I don't know how to put it together, what you think, yeah. I'm going to consult you and be like, <laughs> well, it looks like you just got to mix it. Mr. Rob Bass, man. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Rob Bass. <laughs> Woo! Give me two minutes. Hey. <laughs> That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? And, if, you know, it's consulting. It's yeah. not... And I, and, and, and I don't believe in... You can't consult nobody if you ain't done that. Yeah. Right. right. Like, I can't consult... If Elijah said, Damn, man, I need to get something for my hair. Right. But I still need to. I still want my shit to look fly. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call somebody else to consult in that because I wouldn't know what to get. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd be like, well, I don't know, nigga, get some Afro or yeah. something. Nigga, get some water in the motherfucker. <laughs> that's not good. That's not consulting. That's some bullshit. Right. But if Elijah say to me, like he said to me earlier today, hey man, I want this. I want to do this, this, and this. How do I do it? T tell me how to tell me tell me how, how you think I should do it. Right. So those conversations are good conversations. I, I couldn't get out of his ear just because how he got at me. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to tell him everything, what and you know, no shit. He just was sitting down. I like, remember this. Remember, you know. I'm sorry. No, you are good. I'm, <laughs> I'm rambling now. My bad. Bro, I'll yeah, just bro. be like. Ooh. I see the keys though, like he's playing though. Like you, I know he was playing a hell of beats. Like you see that he's just going out. randomly. <laughs> But I, I see the I see the keyboard hey. and he's actually playing some chords, nigga. All right, yeah. And I'm like, what the hey, fuck? Rob, hey, hey, he's nigga, not trying to play. Why are you talking, nigga? Hey, and I'm like, hey. God damn. How many songs have we done here tonight? This nigga out there like a whole fucking music. Hey, Rob, that's we appreciate hey, us. Hey, he see that Triton back in the day, but I'll be real quick, like, <laughs> the we'll, Triton, like right quick before you go, like, but going back to the 90s, like, what yeah. type of instruments did you use, like, to make, yeah, like, we the, the first two like, albums? Yeah, the like, first, oh, like, wow. like the programs and the, the nigga, it wasn't no logic. What, what drum machine was you using? What, what, what did you Performer. Program? What was your drum machine? No, yeah, out program? here, yeah, out program. program. The program, okay. No program. No, it was no a program. program. It was a program. What, what was program? program? So yeah. you you had your sequencer, right. which is what was 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 your Mac. Remember them little tiny Macs? Right. And it was a program no, called it Performer. Still, right, remember, still, but it Performer didn't play anything. Uh, right? right. Right. Then you had your sounds, which was the Triton. You and then, but you would use those sounds in the Triton. To sequence on yeah. the performance. Too many, right? Ooh. Right. Ooh. Then you have your samplers, which was the S50, the S970, and all these other Akai samplers, where you could do your backups on and sample shit, and you use and you use all those instruments oh, yeah. to sequence in the performer to make the song, oh. right? Oh, yeah. When you do your vocals, you couldn't do your vocals on the computer now like we do it. Mm. Yeah. It wasn't invented yet. Mm. You had to use tape. So we had a, t a 16 track, two inch tape. Mm. So you had to have a board to, to make tape. sure the tape worked. Uh. How you hooked the tape up to the performer so it linked was called a sync box. Is, is, yeah. that, is that what it's called? It's analog? A, it's analog, but it was a sync box. So you had your board, your tape, your performer, your, your instruments. Mm. Yeah. And then you had a sync box where when you press play on your tape, it synced the instruments up 
with your whatever you playing on your 16 track. Yeah. In real time. And the board is what controls where you hear everything. Yeah, in real time. It in was, real time. It was. So it you would use your. Lazy. You would use your. So what we would do is mm. to save time on right the there, 16 no track. We would use our samplers and do all the backups, sample the backups, yeah. throw, and then fly them back to tracks, and then you still got something left over. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then you mix it down to a thing called an ADAT, a ADAT, which was another machine. Yeah. Ooh, ADAT. ADAT. You mix it down to an ADAT, yeah. and then from the ADAT, you would, I mean, you do, from the ADAT, you would send it over to somebody like Pete. So what came, after the, the, what came after the ADAT? What after, what after the what tape, was what over tape with? format came right after the ADAT? It's, it's the, the computer. No, no, no. What came right after Two track, the two was before that. It was another... Oh, that little... I forgot. It, it was quick, though. DA88. The DA88, yeah, but those were <laughs> yeah, quick. It was those, quick. Those motherfuckers was in. They the used a high... They out. used... They, they used, used the VHS, VHS tapes. and then they oh, used uh, yeah. they used uh, high eight tapes. They, they sounded good though, but you know what the they problem went from with the it though? Big tapes, the no, but it VHS, sounded good. It gave you a big sound, right? Tapes, right? Tapes, right? No, peep VHS, game, no, Mike. Right? It sounded right. good. It gave you a big sound, but you know why that right. product didn't last? Right. They couldn't keep manufacturing those tapes. Right. It's too expensive. Right. It, they just couldn't keep manufacturing for some reason. They, they kept having problems ordering the fucking tapes. Yeah. And you and they had three machines. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, they sync. They sync up. So it's everything. Like, it's like, it's like, like the ADAT. Like one thing. Like yeah. So, yeah. so, so look, 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 look at look what I'm going through in music. Like That's a, a great toy. question. That's why I tell That's people like I can consult. I can tell you I've been there. I went from having a studio. When I was doing Hoopla Records, and even maybe the first part of my R&B records, mm -hmm. I had to have at least 15 pieces of equipment, maybe 20, yeah. to make sure that it was a record. Right now, that computer takes up half of that, but you still got to have certain hardware yeah. to make sure it's right. You gotta know, yeah, but it's a lot easier, right? Right. But if you like me, you know how to get balance that digital sound. I mean, if you hear a lot of my rec if you hear the, the, my latest records, this is the thing I tell people all the time, and I'm done. If you listen to my my records, I'm gonna use me as an example. Yeah. If you don't like the record or you do like the record, that's fine. I don't really care if you like or don't like the record. What I care about is you know it's me doing the record. Mm. Right. <laughs> so then I'll just keep saturating your bitch ass with records. <laughs> and at some point you're gonna be like, well, I fucking like yeah, it. Yeah. That's the point. Hey. It ain't I don't care uh, if you yeah, like or know. don't like, I want you to know the sound. Yeah. So when that record comes on that you don't like, yeah. you know it. Yeah. And then you might be in a room with somebody and say, man, they're gonna play that damn Rob Best shit again. And that nigga might say, well, that shit kinda cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but what happened? I just got free promotion. Because what? He didn't like the record. Yeah. So that ain't the point who likes it or don't like it. The point is it's the order to keep listening to your shit. Consistency. Hey, hey, this dude right here, you know what I'm saying? Like consultant he, fee. He been around. Top nine hey, 360, baby. Hey, he been around like since the 80s. You know what I'm saying? He been out, like at the fresh. But not the 80s. Tour. I was still a baby in the 80s. No, but no, 90s. no, no. Don't but you was like no, but you was there back in the 80s doing I, the Fresh Fest tour. Like you oh, seen, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. seen like the Fat Boys and all that on tour. And, I did. Like, I did. And, I did. Yeah, like I did. that's legendary. Run DMC. Yeah, so like, run DMC. They like, was getting shot up in the parking lot. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, we gonna talk about that soon. Uh, we got it wrong. <laughs> hey, next time we'll, we'll hey, he will be uh, up in the Bay Area, Northern California, holding it down for hip hop originals. Yeah. So he gonna be out there, you know what I'm saying, on the streets. You know what I'm saying? Interviewing people that we can't get to at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already talked so to Logic about that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Meet this face. Look at Shutter him. Shutterboy, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going to be tapping you on the shoulder to ask you some serious questions about this hip-hop originals. Hip -hop originals. Exactly. Like, like, like Homeboy said, we're going to have him um, over here telling you about the what the hip hop, the new shit, what really goes on, what look, the new keys, how to, how to get your sound to be up there in the new level. You know what I'm saying? That's that's right here, homie. Rob right Bass. You know what I'm saying? Rob Bass. You gotta show him the shit. You gotta, you gotta show him the shit. Him the shit. <laughs> he, he gonna you gotta show him the shit. Nothing. 
Got to show I tell everybody that's associated with Timeline 360, even the people, even the the the, the partners. We call them. We call each other partners. Yeah. Right. Because we all even. So even when I shoot, check us out. Even, like, even when I shoot no, the shit with them, I need to get me. I'll be like, we no. gotta show the shit. Gotta show because the shit. Because if we don't show the shit. We're not going to get what we want. And I want the shit. <laughs> right? Jeez, what's up, bro? If I spend my time, don't you want the shit? Yeah, you yeah. like to sit on the toilet and be like, yes, we did that shit. <sighs> and then go eat some good vegan food. <laughs> nah, Beez, what's, what's up, Beez? What's up, Beez? Money ass shit. You already right know. Now. Hey, look, before we get out of here, what's up, Beez? What you got, man? Let everybody know how to get a hold of you. What you got coming yeah. up, real quick? For sure, for sure. On the music tip, man, y'all can get it. Get at me at uh, at boss underscore Meez, M E Z Z on Instagram. And on the uh, health tip, you can get at me at uh, comfortable vegetarian on Instagram. So, yeah. And you heard yeah. that. But and look out for that podcast coming yeah, soon, look out for though. That podcast it's coming soon. Vegan, tell you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Y'all know I'm vegan now, man. Man, I want to <laughs> shout out. Uh, Hi, Hamptons. Hi, Hamptons again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. La Banana up in the La building. Banana. Hey, banana. Yeah, my dude, Dave Hester. We got high supply I, in the I building. Need one of them. We got Ooh. two drunk guys. Hey, Eighteen dollars, you know what I'm saying? If you want to break bread on camera, you know what I'm saying? It's all you What's so funny? Oh, Hip hop originals. <laughs> Eighteen dollars. Everybody, shout out to everybody. To it's I going thought, down. Mike, Rob Mike. Best is breaking oh, bread God, right cars, now. You got, okay, since you clown, you got a swipe well, machine, nigga. We'll, we'll talk about it after. Oh, you know nigga, you got a swipe machine, Mark. Sit down, man. Hey, hey, but definitely shout out to the two drunk guys. You know what I'm saying, Troy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Frank the jeweler. You know what I'm saying, my Troy. Wait, wait. I like Troy. Do it again. Hold on, sit down so you can see. Don't talk to me like that. He blocking. No, no, let's take a seat. Scoot up a little bit, nephew. So yeah, man. Hey. Hey, definitely shout out to the two drunk guys. You know what I'm saying, the drunk master and Frankie the jeweler. You know what I'm saying, my jeweler. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I got some shit off him though, but hey, the two drunk guys shit. We got merch, masks, all that shit coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Like, actually, it ain't coming soon. We got it, so. Hey, I just want to say, <laughs> um, really quick before I leave, you know. <laughs> You've always been wanting to no, say no, really no, quick. No, 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 for real though. Because I was just thinking, I was, I was like, man, I, I owe this to you guys SD, though, for real though. coming soon. Like, for real though. Like, so we started Cam Media uh, doing the whole COVID, you know, pandemic. Yeah. And this guy right here has been there. He stuck the first nail in the wall, hung the first rope, everything. He was there. You feel me? But I mean, we still rolling. Look what we've built. Look what how we've grown. Yeah. You know, look at the yeah. network. You know what I'm saying? Rob is out here <laughs> getting ready to shoot a dope ass video for his new single. Yeah. We got the couple of vegetarian about to drop. Mm. Um, we got hip hop originals, what's so funny. So hey, look. Two drunk guys. We got much, much more. Two drunk guys. We got the hey, we got the gamer showdown. <laughs> Abby and Peyton's awesome review. Mm -hmm. My Bro, show. Let's hey, we we just signed my dude Boop Talk. Yeah, Boop Talk. You know what I'm Walter saying? Ford. Walter Ford. Funny We're going to be working man. and be in production pretty soon with Boop Talk. Yeah. Cam Media. Look what we have. Talk. Yes, sir. Look what we, man, look. Man. Man. It's family, more to come, baby. Man. More to come. Make sure y'all subscribe, like everything. Definitely. Hey, Cash Shop us. Uh, dollar sign hey. M I cuts. Hey, look, check this out, though. Dollar sign M I cuts. Cash <laughs> apples. Drop us something. Let us know. Hey, you know what? Because we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it into this <laughs> to make it bigger and better and grow, so you can be a part of it. Right, you get this back in the back. Hey. 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 Man. Shout out to everybody that couldn't be here, bro. This shit was off the chain. I hope you guys got a lot of information out of this. Yeah, it's a little sound You know what I'm saying? Right here, you see these faces right here? Cam Media, baby. This is it right here. Cam Hip Hop Media, Originals. Baby. Rob Best in the building. Yeah, All the way from bro, the gay bitch. area, Switch baby. Shit, man. From the dirty He's O, baby. The sample, Come on, man. Y'all already shit, know man. from the dirty O, baby. Come on, my niggas, put that shit. Oh, watch out. 
And wait till y'all see the video. It's gonna be. Ooh. Oh, video gonna be dead. Take him home. Me and Elijah got the idea. Video on this video is gonna be dead. Take him home. Fuck it. And Rob, take it home. This has been another episode of Hip Hop Originals. We're gonna have Rob Bass back. You know what I'm saying? Rob Bass in the building. He He's family, saying, so he can always be back. Hey, Boss Mees, come back, be the tired the and check him out. I'm going to make sure I'm going to back to the YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, we're going to be on oh, yeah. Roku. Um, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, man. Shout, definitely shout out to Universe Network TV. Yeah, you know, Universe TV Network. Them, so. Shout you, out. You're going to see Universe some of our content TV. on there, too. So, Universe man, we everywhere. Network. Yeah. What do you call that? It's big dog shit. Hey, big dog Big dog shit. Universe TV Network. YouTube, check us out. Come to Vegetarian Hip Hop Original. All of us, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all going down. Hey, Shutter? Yeah. Man, let's wrap this thing up, man. Take us out. Big dog shit. Big dog shit. Take us out, man. Once again, man, RIP to everyone we lost in 2021 and forever, forever. Prince Marky D, we love you, man. We thank you for your interview. Bro, yes, we will carry your legacy to the heights yeah. and hey, beyond, bro. He was humble, man. You know what I'm he saying? He was like, very he, humble, bro. Like, that was my favorite, my, fa- my favorite uh, interview the right there. Bro, you know like, like, for real, though. Man. Right? Man, that, life, was, that was crazy, bro. <laughs> R.I.P., man. He's the first Latino rapper to go platinum. <laughs> wow. If y'all don't know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's the first Latino we interview with this, bro. Yeah, he, like. He was like, he loved us, bro. Yeah. Come on. We got sent him a sweater, you know what I'm saying? But we hey his legacy gonna live on. We definitely gonna reach out to Cool Rock Ski. I'll come back the seven. But yeah, man. Hey, y'all stay safe out there, COVID free. Hey. Peace. Peace. We'll see y'all on the you uh, know what? We, Hey, we, we, we still we can still got a, a living legend over here. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey. So appreciate legends, you know what I'm saying? We all legends. Hey. Exactly. Yes, sir. We, so we, hey, so we're gonna continue this party on the uh, two drunk guys show. So we'll see yeah. y'all on the two drunk guys show. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See you yeah. Sunday, yeah. man. And hey, you know oh, we gonna show y'all a little something for this video. Yeah. Shit, so, you know, we're boy, show the boy, say you gonna play I don't free leave, huh? <laughs> Give him one. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't hear you. Don't try to steal me. What does that mean? That means <laughs> it's a wrap, nigga. It's over. It's <laughs> over. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> That What's was that? And that was an episode of Hip Hop Rhythm. Huh? What's that? What's that? <laughs> we out. <laughs> and we out. And we out, man.